A critical piece in defeating COVID-19 is to achieve herd immunity. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has admitted things will never go entirely back to normal until we have a vaccine. And Canadian researchers are stepping up in unprecedented ways. We spoke with one company already moving towards the testing stages of a COVID-19 vaccine candidate. From start to finish, the development of a vaccine is typically a slow process, one that can take 10 to 15 years. But fueled by a once-in-a-generation global emergency, researchers and scientists are moving at record speed. It's absolutely fascinating what's going on. This is completely unprecedented to see the scale of response for, for making a vaccine to this disease. Producing a vaccine involves multiple steps that include studies in animals and then human trials. This particular vaccine will present unique challenges as COVID-19 is unlike anything the world has ever seen. But Medicago, a Canadian biopharmaceutical company, is making huge strides. They say just 20 days after receiving the virus gene, they successfully produced a viable vaccine candidate against COVID-19. The progress we've been able to make on the COVID vaccine has really been uh, built on our experience with the seasonal flu vaccine. Typically, vaccines are developed in eggs, and that requires a live virus being inserted into the egg, grown and harvested from that environment. But Medicago uses plants and doesn't need the live virus, just the genetic sequence. They insert it into plants they grow in greenhouses. And the plant itself produces a virus-like particle that looks very much like COVID-19 to the body. Your body sees that vaccine very much the same way it would uh, the virus that's circulating. And that's how we get the response by the antibodies that are, are uh, de directed at the virus and uh, hopefully mitigates the disease. In 2009, the company produced a research-grade vaccine candidate against H1N1 in just 19 days. The scale of the current emergency even greater, and funding has been a huge asset. The federal government now investing $1.1 billion for a national medical and research strategy. It involves three pillars, research on vaccines, support for clinical trials, and expanding national testing and modelling. The better we understand this virus, its spread and its impact on different people, the better we can fight it and eventually defeat it. So the question everyone has been asking, when can a vaccine realistically be distributed safely to the public? And there are mixed opinions. The usual answer is, well, you know, maybe 18 months. And that is really a made up number because the honest answer is nobody knows. 12 to 18 months is the time frame that... Uh uh, many are speaking to, and, and it seems to be reasonably realistic. Here in Canada, the government has also launched an immunity task force. Researchers will work on answering critical questions like whether or not people are immune after getting COVID-19 and how long that immunity lasts. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.